for this demonstration i'm going to show you how to download and install zam you know zam is very useful for those persons who want to create php web applications and test those web applications from a local server before placing the application on a live server all right so with zam you can simply use it to run or you know create and run your php applications from a local host all right so i'm here at google chrome i type in zam download and at the top i'm seeing download zam from apache friends so this is the one i'm going to go with all right so after clicking on that there are various options here so if you want to install zamp for windows that option is there zamp for linux that option is there and also if you are a mac user you can install zamp on your mac as well right so the x in zam stands for cross platform the a is apache the m is mariadb the first p is php and the last p here is perl right, so it's a entire package all right i'm going to go ahead and download the one with the php 8.2 version which is the latest stable release this is one i'm going So once the download has been completed, you can go ahead and install. All right, so save my downloaded file. All right, so one recommendation when you are installing some is to adjust your user account control so it says change user account control you can just click on that if you are not seeing it here then you just type uac click on this so i'm going to change the uac and then once i'm finished i will change it back to the recommended settings so i'll show you shortly what i'll do with that all right so it's currently at the recommended point here so i'm going to say never notify if you're not sure what uac is for then you can just do a quick read up on it but i stated here Use account control helps prevent potentially harmful programs so it, it blocks certain programs when you're installing them so it might cause an issue when you're trying to install ZAMP so just slow it to never notify install ZAMP and then put it back to the recommended setting so click on OK right. so I'm going to go ahead now and install ZAMP my file would have been well downloaded here so i'm just going to go to my downloads folder so zamp is here don't click on that I'm just how to do what it is doing all right so here it is saying because an activated Use account control on your system. Some functions of ZAMP are possibly restricted. So basically, it is saying with UAC, please avoid to install ZAMP to, and it states the, the location and all of that. Right. So this will come up. Um, the fact that I did change the settings for the user account control, I should be fine. So let me click on OK. Then next. 
so it will install Apache for me, MySQL, FileZilla, MercuryMail server, and Tomcat Perl as well. I'll be getting the PHP my admin option also. So we can proceed with the installation. So I'm just going to click on next. It will install it to my C drive and it will create a folder in the C drive called ZAMP. So I'm going to go next. Alright, so it is telling me that I already have a folder by that name. So I'm just going to Delete that old folder and install. Alright, so I remove the old folder, so I should be fine now. Next, English is the language of choice here, so next. And next. It will take a little while to install, but you can just let it do what it has to do. And then when it's done, you can write your PHP scripts or your PHP code and run them using your computer as a local host or as a local server. Alright, so the installation is almost complete. Well, at least the unpacking of the files is almost complete. Alright, so we are here now. Alright, so I'm just going to click finish and I'm going to keep the option to bring up the control panel or to start the control panel. No, I'm going to leave that option checked because the control panel is the next thing I was going to talk about. Alright, so this is our control panel. Now again, PHP requires a server in order for its code or its script to get executed. So we have the Apache server here. So to create our PHP web applications, we need to start our Apache server. Once it's green, then we are good to go. It's running on port 80 and it is also using port 443. Right, um, MySQL, I don't need this right now, but when we are creating applications with a database, then we need to start the MySQL service as well. But for now, just to double check that everything is, is, is well, everything is well and everything was installed properly, which, you know, the Apache server is running, so you know that the installation was successful. But I'm going to click on the admin option here next to the Apache service and that should bring up a dashboard in our web browser. Right. Once this is up then we know that everything was done correctly. Alright, so that's it basically. So we would have downloaded and also installed some to our device so we can now create our PHP web applications and run them from localhost. Alright, so that is it for this particular demo.